Hello lovely people. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Claudia and welcome. I've got my, what I think is, for right now at least, my very last Fashion Nova haul. That's right, Fashion Nova. I've enjoyed our run, but after I share this particular bundle, that's it. Why? I would say a plethora of reasons, but the top two would be, one, you advertise or market to people who look like me. However, the people on your Instagram and on your website do not look like me. So you're actually advertising to light, white, Latina, Arab, anything else that is not a straight up African American system. How do I know? I have eyes and I can go to your site and see the one token, yes, tokenism, the one or two token, I, no, I would say I can't even give you two. I'm gonna give you one. The one dark-skinned girl on your site, and that's it. And the rest are Cardi B, yeah, right, right, Cardi B lookalikes, or lighter or whiter. That's cool, but I don't have to spend my coins on Fashion Nova. Not to mention, your quality is hit or miss. Now mind you, I have done hauls with Fashion Nova before on my Instagram. That would be Miss Claudia Moss with the M-I-S-S -S and not the M-S. So yes, and in those hauls, and I, and I like your style, most of it, but in those hauls, I have had one or two pieces that look like they need to go back to the sweatshop or they should never have left the sweatshop. But that's okay because I see you have, what, 16 million followers on Instagram? So I say, good, do you. You just don't have to do my pockets too. And I certainly am not going to contribute to any more of the Nova after this haul. Peace be with you. Let's see if the quality is okay in this penultimate, not even penultimate, this final one. Penultimate, for those of us who have a little vocab, is the next to the last. Oh, and let me just say another thing, Fashion Nova. Um, everything is not about the peach. Now I know it's a peachy world out here, but my goodness, is the peach prominent in every picture that you showcase? Uh, well, perhaps the peach is money. And um, yeah, let me open this. But I don't have to contribute to that type of imagery. So let's see what I got. Mmm, I got your return form. Now, Fashion Nova, you know good and well, it is extremely difficult to return anything to your establishment. Got a pair of shoes that didn't fit, and they were advertised as a seven and a half. They came, they were, oh my God, they felt like a 12 and a half. Tried to send them back. We have to pay for it the return to be sent back to you. The, sh the return was the same amount as what I paid for the shoes. Ah, might as well give those away. Your return policy needs adjusting. Same as customer service. Now I've had a pretty, I've had good customer service with you, I will say that. But before the video, I went and peeked at uh, a review and you all had a one, your latest review. It was a one star, and the young lady was, or whoever she was, was raving about how awful your customer service was. How she couldn't get what she wanted. You all overstock and don't tell people you don't have these jeans. They pay for them. They don't get the jeans. And what happens? They just have to 
battle it out with you guys about the product that they're not going to, the, the garment that they're not going to receive because it was overstocking it and they don't have another one and you don't have another one and they're, you're not giving cash back. You're giving store credit. So, hmm, that can be an issue, but we won't go into all of that because, you know, those people who know you, they know about all of that. So, we'll put that aside. Now, what else pops out of here? Oh, my Fashion Nova packing slip to remind me what I have here. Oh, yes. Let's see if it's all in here. I love the color white. As you can see, it's such a lovely color for the summer. I'm a colorist, Fashion Nova. I love all colors, but I do love a clean, crisp white look and clothing and I'm redefining the word colorist because mine is not white out front and that's the only color everything else get in the way way back including black no 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 colorism on this channel is the love of all colors indeed so perhaps take a lesson from me and stop putting all of those bright white girls out front in your campaigns, but selling to black, black, blacker and black girls. I'm just saying, you don't have to take it from me. <laughs> but anyway, this is a tea for those who popped into the video to see what's in this haul. This is the right on time crop. Ooh. Let's see if you all are right on time. It feels soft. Now, I'm holding it, and as I hold it, well, it's cute, and it says small, and as you can see, I'm tiny, but it feels like a medium. Did somebody change my tag or something? I don't know, but it's cute. See this, guys? I really like it. Long sleeves will take you to the end of summer over into the fall. I like the little rib detail at the bottom. That's cute. And, mmm, it's a polyester rayon blend. That is adorable. And it is right on time. But you know what? I'll be right back. One of my nails is ratchet and I've got to file it so that I don't snag these other items. Don't go away. Now, let me just say a note here. Cindy Black, our beautiful little YouTuber with the blue eyes, was scathed on the internet recently and on YouTube right here in particular when she said there was no such thing as colorism. I understand what she meant by that. What she meant was colorism is not technically a term. It was coined by Alice Walker and it was coined to mean hate and racism coming from the same group of people towards other people, meaning black people uh, tending to hate darker complexion people and highlighting Fair, the fairer complexion, colorism. Yes, we see colorism in movies. Yes, where all of the main actresses are light-skinned and the supporting actresses or actresses who are in the background tend to be black. Yes, that exists. But as a term, colorism does not exist. That's why it comes up on your computer screen with the squiggly lines under the word colorism. So it is ironic, but we do understand it. And if I understand why Alice Walker coined the term, it exists. The, 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 what people do with colorism, as far as the hatred of one darker complected group over another group, uh, of what can be seen in some 
fashion ads, we'll say, exists. But if that is true, and it was true, and it is true, let us redefine colorism if we want to, since Alice can coin her term and give it a definition. I'm in alignment with Alice, except I'm going to go further and coin mine and define mine my way, which is to embrace under the spectrum of the rainbow and the prism all colors. So all colors are novas flashing out front and not just the light bright white. Let me get back to my white haul. This is Wild at Heart Romper. Mm. Wild at Heart. I like that. I love these names. Let's see how the Wild at Heart Romper looks. Let's see if the quality is there. How many washings it'll last through. Oh, yes. Can you tell I love this? Look at this, guys. Dolls, guys and girls. That's cute. I like that. I love the little lace, the little trims, the trim on the side here. Like my nails need trimming right now. Oh, that's cute. Look at this delicate little detail there. I like the way it's made at the top. Oh, look at this. The little crisscross in the front, like a peekaboo. And it is indeed a rubber. We'll see how that looks on. It is made in China as they all, I think Fashion Nova's clothes come from China. So this one uh, made like a little corset at the top. I hope it stays up since it doesn't have any straps. But that is, that is adorable. And you can tighten it up. Maybe that's where it is, the power of the top staying up comes up, you can tighten this part. Cute, 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 cute. Now this is the Make Way crop top. And it looks like it's about to make way too because the elasticity in here doesn't look like it can hold the girls in place. <laughs> the twins might be out of this one. You might have to make way for sure. Let's see. Oh, that is simply adorable. Lightweight though, and it has some bit of stretch. They just just seem like such lightweight clothing, like lightweight production. But um, it's a inexpensive clothing line that goes quickly. I mean, you don't intend to have these forever, not forever, but at least long-term wear because this is probably a summer. Maybe two if you stay out of it. What else? But I do like that. White jeans. Are these the push up the peach jeans? <laughs> we'll see. These are the shine star. These are the Meet Me There Skinny Pants. Meet Me There Skinny Pants. Let's see if we can meet somewhere. There, here, wherever. Ah. Hmm. Perfect fit, mid-rise. 25 inch ankle skinny pants. What is the fabric? Doesn't appear to be, it doesn't appear to be a jean fabric. It's a stretch. What is this? Hmm. 
68% rayon, nylon. Mmm, here they are. This is the back. These are nicely constructed, I must say. These are nicely made. All the strings are cut and neat. All the trimming looks great. Mm. Shine star. Let's see how they shine when you put those on. And last but not least, is this cute little number? What are they? These are the Take Me Away lace shorts. give it to you on that one, Fashion Nova. I love these too. That is like uh, an adorable little drapey skirt. And I do like the band at the top. Nice stretch to it. The lace over, what is this, rayon type fabric underneath. Perfect for a white party. Nice fashion over. Very nice. Maze. Mmm. Let's see what else the little tag says. Made it. Oh, 100% polyester, not rayon. 100% polyester. That quick fashion. Quick fashion production. But adorable. Sexy. Sassy, sensual. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me just say, I love these pieces, Fashion Nova. Hopefully I won't have to send any back. Because if so, I'm just going to go on and keep it and send the item to a friend or gift it to someone. Returning to you is something I don't wish to do. Uh, unless you had a different policy. So I'm glad that I like everything. So the next part of this video is to show you how they fit. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully they will fit.
point still remains, Fashion Nova. You should really work on your customer service and you, I mean, I did look at your reviews, but like I said before I started filming, work on your customer service, also work on your return policy, work on your in-store credit and no refunds in money. It just makes you look like uh, you're grubbing money and you don't want to give people back the money they freely gave you for the products that they thought they were getting. You know, work on those things so you can shine. And also work on diversifying your marketing campaign. Because all of the women, and men now, who buy your clothing are not light bright. With that occasional dark spot in there. Like a pimple on a white surface. All right, Fashion Nova. Thank you for this opportunity to look at your clothing one last time. I like these pieces. Have a great year, uh, hopefully making your changes, and I'll see you guys watching in the next video. Love you. Bye. Bye, everyone. See you again. Bye. And don't forget, shine in your own spotlight. Stand in your own spotlight.